Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem F8-3 from RC Repeller Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the maximum force P that can be applied without causing the 250 kg grades to move. The coefficient of static friction between each grade and the ground is 0.25. So to solve this problem, First of all, we will draw the free body diagram of crate A by considering it as a particle. The free body diagram of crate A looks something like this. I have a vertical force acting downwards. I have a normal reaction from the ground. I have a tensile force from the string to the right and deflectional force to the left. Let's label them. This is an A. This right here is tensile force T. This is weight. And this right here is frictional force at grade A. Now, since they have said that we have to find the force P without causing the two grades to move, which means the system is in equilibrium. So we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So our first equation is sum of the forces in x direction equals to zero. I'm considering right hand side as positive. So we have T minus F A equals to zero. But we know that F A could be written as mu S and A. And mu S for both grades in this case is 0 0.25. So F A becomes 0 0.25 and A. So if I substitute it into this equation, then this equation becomes T minus 0 0.25 and A equals to 0. Let's call this equation 1. But we can see that we have two unknowns and one equation. So we need another equation. So our second equation would be sum of the forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have n a minus w a equals to zero. We can find the weight of grade a by multiplying mass that is 50 kg by acceleration due to gravity. So weight for crate A becomes 490.5 Newtons. So from this equation, an A becomes 490.5 Newtons. If I substitute it into this equation, then tensile force comes out to be 0 0.25 times of 490.5 is equals to 122.625 Newtons. So now we will do the same process for crate B to find the unknown forces acting on it. So let's draw the free body diagram by zooming. Let's draw the free body diagram of crate B. 
the free body diagram of crate B looks something like this. I have a vertical force acting downwards. I have a normal reaction acting upwards. I have a force P acting 30 degrees from the horizontal. I have a frictional force acting backwards and towards left. And I also have one more force that is the tensile force also acting towards left. Let's label all of them. This is N B. This is force P making 30 degrees with the horizontal. This right here is weight B. This is frictional force at B. And this right here is tensile force. I can also break this force P into its components. So I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. Let's label them. So this right here is P sine 30 and that is P cos 30. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So we have sum of the forces in x direction equals to zero. I'm considering right hand side as positive. So we have P cos 30 minus T minus F B equals to zero. But we know the value of, we know the value of T. So T is 122.625 Newtons. And F B could also be written as 0 0.25 times of N B. So this equation becomes, P cos 30 minus 122.625 is equals to 0 0.25 NB. Let's call this equation 2. But we can see that we have two unknowns and one equation for grade B. So we need another equation. So our second equation would be sum of the forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have, by looking at this free body diagram, we have P sine 30 plus and B minus WB equals to zero. WB is equals to mass that is 50 kg into 9.81. So WB becomes 490.5 Newtons. So by putting it into this equation, this equation becomes P sine 30 plus NB is equals to 490.5 Newtons. Oh, let's just write it as 490.5. Let's call this equation 3. So if I zoom out. So now for grade B, I have two equations and two unknowns, so I can simultaneously solve them and find the unknowns. So consider equation two, this equation. So from equation two, if I make the P as a subject, then P becomes 0 0.25 NB 
plus 122.625 divided by cos 30. Put this value of P in equation 3. equation three becomes zero point two five and B plus one twenty two point six two five divided by cos thirty multiplied by sine thirty. plus n p is equals to 490.5. So upon simplification from this equation, this right here, n b becomes 366.774 newtons. So put n b in equation. Let's call this equation as equation A. So put n b in equation A in this equation. So equation A becomes E is equals to 0 0.25366.774 plus 122.625 divided by cos 30. So from here, P becomes 247.4 newtons. This is the answer that we are looking for. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubt about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.